Okay, this one's a marathon, uh, but it's a lot of fun. Apparently, I rate pilled this uh, woman uh, some time ago, and she uh, in February, and she started looking into some stuff, and now she's falling down the rabbit hole and uh, taking her baby steps into the um, unknown. So uh, that's what this one's all about. We get joined by some people from the UK, and we get joined by a man from San Francisco. Uh crap. There goes. I'm still dealing with this crap, baby. Hang on to me. I'm, I'm still working. All right. Got this stupid light in my belly here. Trying to, whip, trying to get the lighting right. Keep on hitting the damn off switch. Okay, crap. Hi, right, anyway. This goes on forever, so I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Uh, hey, I'm wearing my 911 T-shirt. We get into some false flags here uh, quite a bit. So uh, you know, hey, why don't you go buy one? Wouldn't that be a great idea? Turn people on to 911, walk around, and they can walk and ask you, uh, "What do you mean by what third building?" get to explain it to them. Try it out. It works. It's a lot of fun. And uh, so here, oh, there I go again. I, I shut that one off. So there you go. Go ahead and uh, go, 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 go through. And, oh, hopefully you enjoy this one. Have a good time with it. And I'll pop in from time to time. But I don't want to, again, I don't want to spend too much time here because this is a long, long video. The entire, I mean, again, we would not be able to exist without the illegal drug trade as our entire far government right now is, is being run from mostly illegitimate programs. And of course, what are the, what's the, one of the most lucrative is drugs. I mean, look what it employs. I mean, not only from law enforcement to, you know, prisons, to the courts, to the uh, police forfeit apertures, you know, where they can take your, they don't even convict you. They find you, you know, uh, an ounce of pot in your car, they take your car and your house. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, these are the things that, there's money in it. Oh, my God. And, uh, and unfortunately, that's what we're, we're, we're having to deal with. Why? What do you know about the... Uh, uh, we're from Arkansas. And we talked to you in February. We yeah. talked to you in February, and then since then I've been reading some stuff. And what'd you find out? Well, I'm gonna buy. There's a book, a whole book about it. Yeah. I hadn't read the book because it's been really expensive on eBay, but now they've dropped the price on, on some of them. So yeah, I think another one you're talking about didn't come out that long ago. I don't believe. The mom wrote the book. Yeah. And it's about how the prosecutor and this yeah. and. Yeah. This is real. It's a scam. It was, I mean, they, they, the corner was connected to the whole thing, and uh, he got paid off. Uh, it was an entire hoax. I mean, dude, come on. You smoke pot, fall asleep on ring, railroad tracks. You know, <laughs> I smoked a lot of pot. <laughs> I never said, boy, those railroad tracks look like shit. They look comfortable. I, just, uh, <laughs> I won't hear that freight train coming down the track with the Well, then that got her all looking at a whole list of other things. Oh, yeah. She it's spent all day doing it. I she, said something about Anthony Bourdain. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, once you start, go down this rabbit hole, you recognize this. Do you know about Anthony Bourdain? Oh, yeah. Anthony Bourdain? No, he's murder. We're glad you were still here. We didn't see you here the other day when we got so, here. So I was driving back from <laughs> over there, and I go, he's here. We, so we walked over, but she was at a, in Memphis, and she goes, look this up. Somebody says Anthony Bourdain was murdered, and I said, well, I didn't think that two famous people would have committed suicide hanging themselves that Days close apart. together. And so then I started looking up this, then it goes to this, then it had a list of all these things, informed Americans, informed people should know. So I started looking at Mocking, The Mockingbird. I highly recommend this book. The Killing of Uncle Sam. Alright. Okay. This is another one. Yeah, it just came out. Okay. Alright. Um, excellent, excellent expose on the origins of the deep state. 
names, names, names the organizations, follow the money, okay. and shows who really the shadow government is and who's really running us. Well, this was just started. I started reading this stuff, and I got it was sort of just... Yeah, no, you can, once you get turned on to it, there's two things that are going to happen. It's either f uh, fight or flight. You either go, oh no, and you run away and get deeper and deeper in that hole, you you know, or you go, I got to do something about this. Well, One or other. I was going to look up the words that I, uh, I didn't look up all the words. I started in on um, Operation Mockingbird. Yes. Uh, It's like we've lost another one to the, you know, to the, to the conspiracy. She's a conspiracy theory. Oh my I God. know. That's what I'm really afraid of. No, here's what I, my answer to that is no. You're a conspiracy factualist. <laughs> because conspiracies exist. I mean, there was a laws against conspiracy, so it's got to exist. It's a movie. <laughs> right. I mean, I know it's in the dictionary. Look it up. Conspiracy. It exists. It's not a theory if it exists. I looked up Operation Mockingbird, yes. Operation right. Northwoods, right. and then False Flag is with Operation Northwoods. Right. And then I looked MK Ultra up. Oh yeah. That's scary. Oh. That gets real. Now you're getting into the deep dark of mind control programs that are going on. And that's on. really like the CIA. That's what, like the book, the book, the movie. Oh yeah. Conspiracy oh. theory and yes. Well, and that is actually going on. Well, it said, yes. and it, it connected it to the Disney. Yes, Disney was one of the first CIA operations to find out how to control a society. Because when you walk into Disney, what happens? Here, you put on this little bracelet, this little tag. Ooh. And then we could, ooh, you're in Wonderland now. You know, so it was, and they control, they see everything you're doing. They follow your eye movements, the, you know, what you stop and watch. Everything is, is categorized. That was the first CIA operation to go ahead and control a whole society. Well, this is, it talked about how, uh, what's her name? Hannah, uh, not Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, and, you know, those kids and how they've changed and how Miley Cyrus is just like completely and and Timothy McVeigh like did he get like that to he do was sheep that? dipped they call it sheep dipping he was sheep dipped like oh you're dead you're alive here you go secret agent man absolutely very scary and that's just the three I think that's yes. just the three I looked at now yes. wait there might have been one more that goes with that uh I'll give you one. Do you want to know where they train most of their death spots? Right here. In New Orleans? Really? Yep. Really? They got the swamp here close by, so we do the swamp. They got the city. They got a lot of different There's a matter of fact, they were operating here, or a branch of them was operating here, and it was exposed. Actually, came out of the news, but it was like gone again, right? Um, it was a, pro a project Palantir, and it was full spectrum dominance over the population. In other words, and they were using this overseas military operation. And what they do is do a profile on a terrorist or terrorist group and find out everything, everything about every individual in that group. So they know you better than know you know yourself. So that it's like a pre-crime thing. They stop the terrorists before they start do the crime. They started using it here. We're using it in New Orleans since 2012 without even telling the chamber of the councilman here. Didn't even know about it. They were using it on the citizens of New Orleans uh, extensively to go ahead and. Um, stop the drug gangs and the drug epidemic, which in, a, in some instances they were, but there was selective enforcement of the drug gangs to allow the ones that were paying off the government agents. So they were using the death squads here to kill uh, bad guys, bad drug dealers, so other guys could come in and take over the territory. Okay, what about this? 9-11? Uh, Is that... Uh 
total false flag operation. Is that? Okay. Total false flag operation. I got to meet one of the originators of uh, architects and engineers for 9-11 Truth out here. And uh, he gave me about a half hour interview. And uh, I've talked to other engineers, I've talked to multiple witnesses to 9-11 that have told me things that you will never hear on the news. That completely eviscerate the official story. Wow, that's just very scary. I mean, just basic physics tell you that three planes cannot bring down three buildings, or a plane cannot bring down a, a skyscraper. That's impossible. Well, it's physically it's, impossible. I was reading some comments, and I said, well, what about the plane? And they said, well, there were bombs planted in the building. It was a controlled demolition. Absolutely a controlled demolition. I mean, what? Scary. explain building number seven. Building number seven, from where we're standing, to the brick building down there. 47 stories tall, housed all 16 of our intelligence agencies and the mayor's emergency bunker. This thing was a fortress. It's one of the most fortified buildings in the world. It wasn't hit by a damn thing, and 520 in the afternoon did what? In six seconds. Straight to the ground, perfect controlled demolition. We still haven't found out why. So no one's ever explained that. Scary. Yes. Uh, how acceptable is that as a statement to say in America? How what? Acceptable, like, as in how, I mean, obviously it's quite controversial to state, but how acceptable I'm is, out here on it? the street saying it, aren't I? They what, sorry? I'm out here on the street yeah, yeah, saying it. Yeah, you are, you are. So I'm just wondering how acceptable is that? How, obvious. Do you seem obviously dubious. Well, I just started trying to, I mean, I'm about, I'm from I love this. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, all the time we've known there's a body count with the Clinton, you yeah. know, connected with the Clintons, but it's just a lot of extra stuff. So. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. No, and then you just see a lot more stuff, and, and then I was just telling him I just found these things that I just started, and I just dug into three things out of this whole list, and that that's what I found from three things. Well, just look at the Kennedy assassination alone. Oh, that has to do with the false flag on the... <laughs> See what I learned? That has to do with the false flag and those guns showing up on the shore. Over... Listen to the speech I... that got Kennedy killed. Mm, that is, yeah, well... Ten days before yeah. he, right? He talked there, about the shadow government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you guys from? Well, UK, London. England. I'm London. from the Czech Republic originally, but we live in London. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are your feelings on Tommy Robinson? Oh, oh God, I don't know. No, I know the name. He's the he's the guy that got in jail. He like so he he should be in jail because it was a crime. It was a crime. Yeah, this guy's obviously getting uh, his news off of the uh, BBC. I'm not getting too adapt in there with that, but uh, no problem. I'm here to set him straight. This is the guy, EDL, English Democrat League. All right. Um, and he said something controversial. Uh, Are you familiar with Tommy Robinson? Well, that's all your poster. Yeah. All right. Let me give you a rundown on this, okay? Yeah. Because you don't want to believe the stuff that the news has been telling you. That's what you're about to spew out. Okay? Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, okay. I've learned some interesting things about 9-11. I'll tell you later. My friend is a massive into it. I know some stuff, but yeah. Well, no, no, I want to know. I want to know. But Tommy Robinson it does essentially what I do. He gets out on the street and he speaks the truth. This is what's happening, folks. They're lying to you and we know it. We know they're lying to us about 9-11 and, and Kennedy and, and everything. We know we're lying. They're lying to us. Well, Tommy, they, what Tommy Robinson was screaming about is about the uncontrolled immigration, how it's changing everything. Which it is, which it absolutely is. Indeed. So the government, which of course wants to eviscerate Western civilization so they can bring in a one world government, yeah. right, doesn't want people out on the street going, hey, folks, they're coming for us. <laughs> so. He was, he was out there in front of a courthouse. Now, the trial was already over. It was in the sentencing stage. 
So there was no way he was going to interfere with the thing, you know. And he's on the sidewalk just talking about the sentencing of this Muslim rape rooming ring, pedophile rape ring on the, in courthouse. Cops come along and go, oh, I'm seven. You know, he can't help you do that. <laughs> Was that English and, accent? And then, <laughs> that my five, five hours later, he's in jail for 13 months. And here's the kicker. The UK government said, uh-uh, you can't talk about that. You can't report on it. If you tweet about it, we're sending the, the bobbies to come see you too. So this, of course, blew up in the face of, you know, it's a Streisand effect. You try to stop people from seeing something, they're going to be immediately, you know, what? You know? So the next day, people was coming out onto the streets. They're climbing over the damn walls trying to get your free time at Robinson. And uh, they got him in a Muslim-dominated prison in solitary confinement, you know. But the deal is, it's like, this is total totalitarianism. This guy's on the streets talking, and then they take you off the streets and tell you you can't. So the whole idea is, hey, for, hey are you a free country or not, UK? Are people allowed to talk on the street there? Not so much of um, But, uh, no, so, so, so I go up to you with a certain, to a certain degree, absolutely. The only thing is, Tommy Robinson had been warned that if he were to um, you know, incite trouble on the streets in the future, that he would be imprisoned. As in, he, he himself has said he's, he's unsurprised by the imprisonment. Now, but you're but both related to the tyrannical the government. Why wouldn't you be unsurprised? Should, should that be the law? Probably not. Sorry. Well, no. Sorry. Matter of fact, you should. Sure, go right ahead. So make sure you get a bird, grab this. <laughs> <laughs> no, come now, what about 9-11? What do you know about 9-11? Well, so my, my friend um, really reads into it. He shared this with me, that the controlled demolition. Right. They painted the building about a few days before it happened. It was like the first time in like about 10, 15 years that it was painted. And the paint was um, essentially like smearable nitroglycerin that explodes. Uh, Nanothermite. Yes. And it's the only place that it's manufactured in the world is one of the U.S. Army bases. Um, and that's the only place that it's manufactured so it could only come from there yes. and then it only exploded around the place and then it had been painted over um, so it was really interesting because they then when they dug up the remains of the towers they found the remains of this chemical now, now your friend or who, who found this information yeah my friend yeah works in a lab or how did he find out this no he's just like part of like various like sport secret forums oh yeah well indeed <laughs> what has been pretty much known for a while is the fact that you know, nanothermite was found in the debris. Yeah. They did the study, you know, I don't know, 13 years ago. And by their estimate, as much as 10 tons of nanothermite were were in there. And it's because it's water soluble, you can put it in paint. And maintenance men would be just, they wouldn't know they're putting a high grade military explosive. So they don't know they're doing it. Right. That's why they get a lot of guys to go along with it. They're, they're not, you're just being told, here, go paint that. Yeah. They don't know. I've all of it. I've talked to cops out here from New York that, that were there that day and said, well, you know what well, went down. How come you can't speak out? Oh, because we're threatened with our pensions, our jobs, our families would be really? threatened. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. In fairness, being being a wow. foreigner, I, I don't want to make a stance on what no, happened no, sorry, I'm just in America, what my, but yeah. Um, yeah. a lot of it does look pretty dodgy. Uh, why Anthony Bourdain? Because he was getting ready to, he has a lot of influence. Huge, huge social on media presence. Huh? On the Clintons or just... No, he he became red-pilled. He woke up. He woke up, he saw the whole thing. He saw the whole program about what they're trying to do to control us and then go ahead and start the real killing. So he woke up. He went, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm stopping this. Yeah. I'm not telling about the poison foods. Oh, the holy shit. GMOs and stuff. Right. He's going to say, I'm going to expose to them the genetics. Pro- I'm going to expose the genetic engineer, uh, you know, the genetics programs that they're uh, they're putting in onto us. I'm going to expose the genocide that they're getting ready to put into us. Why we're getting so much cancer. Yeah. 
So he was getting ready to red pill his audience. Okay. Well, the show I watch is one of those, you know, you can see it only on certain things. It's uh, some guy, and he I only saw him on Facebook, but he was talking about, he has his own show. You have to find his show uh, talking about how he was against Trump. He was against Trump. He kind of turned toward, towards Trump, and then boy, boy, hashtag walk away. Twenty-four hours. He was for twenty-four hours. He turned towards Trump, and he's dead. Yeah, well, dude, are you familiar with hashtag walk away? You, you know what's I going on? I think I've heard of that, but I don't know the whole. Well, this guy's went well, okay. I, I, it was a liberal, but he oh, this herd mentality of you know you got to think like us, and if you stray just a little bit, you're a Nazi. Oh, yeah. you know, you're, you're, you're a white supremacist. Like, you're with them. They are, of course, the socialists. Like the national yes, socialists. They, right. They are, yeah, the, yeah. they are what they say they are against. Yeah, yeah. So this guy made a, a, a YouTube. Uh, I'm walking away from this. This is, I, you know, I'm liberal, but I say, my God, he's liberals. This isn't the liberalism I grew up with you know, learning. My liberalism is tolerant. These people are not tolerant. Mm, mm. These people are violent. These people are, and these people believe in things I don't believe in. I want a border. Yeah. Right. You know, I mean, you know, just common sense things. And I'm being called a Nazi forever. Made this YouTube and boom, all of a sudden all these people wake it up. So you say, well, you know, how, how do people respond to this truth? Mm. How are they responding? You get out here and you find you say, oh, good, finally, someone, I, hey, boy, I thought I was the only one. Yeah. You're not. We are more people. How did he get in office with everybody against him? Mm. It's because so we already know the truth. So this is my question for you: Is is Trump a step in the right direction? Yes. Yeah. Uh, is, is, he's not in on it himself. No. Okay. I think so. That too. was pretty. Because he's, he's got so much money that he doesn't answer. need Look to be at his enemies. Else. Look at his enemies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who are his you, enemies? I'm glad to hear you say that. But well. One thought because he didn't offer to take any money. Mm. He, he doesn't have to. need to. He doesn't yeah. have to. Why would you even want to do this? And that's a billionaire for crying out loud. He gets yeah, spent yeah. the rest of his life and, in luxury. And with all the people, like you said, that are against him, look who's yeah. against him. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still got in. It's just, it's, just like Bre- it's just like Brexit in our country. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Just like. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly like Brexit. And now that people to speak and the government's uh, gone. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, we got a different idea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, it was nice to hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Little, yeah. Yeah. You little people. <laughs> it's nice to half of you, you know. That's it. <laughs> You're going to drop the English accent. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear that. I, <laughs> but I still I do. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 Indeed. And that's the that's the rub. I mean that's what's created revolutions throughout time. Yeah. As we go through these cycles and over and over yeah. again, you know. Uh, representation, thank et cetera, et cetera. You. Yes. Thank you. So we okay, the only difference now though is we've got the internet. Yeah. Everybody's walking around. We get instant communication. We get it from each other. We don't have to get it from these idiots anymore. <laughs> yeah. We can talk to one another and then put it out on that and, and go, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's why, like, YouTube is, for example, so dangerous. You know how I watch PewDiePie? Mm. He's the top subscribed yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. And he Brazilian. talks a lot about this stuff. And he's been attacked so much, so many times. And, yeah. like, he's a young person, like, appealing to, like, the young demographic. And they're terrified of that. Yeah. Like, they keep taking Look him what down, they're like, doing. They're Look up Candace Owens and, and what they're trying to do to that, yeah, a young lady. Yeah. Right? Look what they're trying to do to Info wars right now. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. guy. That's yes. the guy. Yes. That's the guy I'm talking about. And then... Uh, yes, Alex Jones. Yeah. Uh, Alex Jones. Dupree. Dupree. Do you know what I'm talking about? Will Dupree, William Dupree. Maybe that's another guy. No, there's a ton of them out there. I mean, that's it. People are going... I mean, you got Mark Dice. You got... Uh, you know, you got World Net Daily. You got... Uh, uh, I mean, all in all, we can. There are truth tellers. The people that will not work or have been kicked off the mainstream media are now on the internet and telling real truth. I mean, why is Infowars popular? Because he doesn't take <laughs> any outside money. That's, we support him. That's the guy that said that about. Um, that's about everything. Yeah, but he's the one that said the 24 hours when he was there. Yes, he went. He had, he's, he's the, one of the first people to start talking about a boating being a, 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 a hit. 
Yes, absolutely. So what's, what do you think's next? What do you think's going to happen? I think we wake up. I think what we do is do a, do a go to go to freedomwatch.org. What we do is we start citizen grand juries. We take it out of the government's hands. The power to go ahead and indict ourselves. We can indict Hillary Clinton. We got the evidence. All we need is a prosecutor in our area. You go ahead and form a citizen grand jury. We take them to court. We convict them. We can go arrest them. We either that or it's a bloody civil war. Yeah, where I am out in San Francisco right now. Oh, it's, God. It's, yeah, it's unbelievable. You're it's in the city? There. Uh, around outside, it. because that's been in the news. And the news today, this morning was a, a was made drudge, I think, even, was the um, a conductor on the transit warning the people coming in, coming off the trans, please look out for uh, syringes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At every stop. Uh, that made... That was on Breitbart this morning. What do so you do? What do you, what do you find down here in terms of the general belief? Because up, up there, it's just it's all they buy. They buy all that oh, shit sure. on the news, the hook, line, and sinker. Yeah. Almost the entire population. Yeah. Have, like two conservative friends. You know? I don't even like to call it conservative. I like call it libertarian. Yeah. There, it's almost hopelessly gone. Yeah. New Orleans is a liberal cesspool. Is it? But it's a, it's different in a lot of different ways uh, as far as the, it's. Like San Francisco, it is surrounded by water. <laughs> it has that, that whole artsy, fartsy, and gay community going on. Uh, yeah, yeah. But the dynamic here is different because it, where, you know, we have things like they think the seed of New Orleans started out where they, the people that, that settled this place were running away from government oppression. So it, that's what Mardi Gras is all about. Mardi Gras every year comes out and makes fun of the authorities makes fun of the politicians. So it's ingrained in the DNA here to make fun of this stuff. So me being out on the streets here, I'm just another nut on the streets. I mean, you can see that. <laughs> Walk around, take a look. <laughs> I'm just a different kind of nut out here. You know? it's just like people come along and go, my God, someone's just not saying fuck Trump. Look at that. You know? <laughs> I have about 20 of these if you, sit, if you sat on a street up in San Francisco. You'd well, get, you'd get violently attacked up there. Well, they just really? did violently yeah. attack several people up yeah. there. I mean, that, yeah. Uh, seriously. Yeah. And, then, and then in oh, LA, yeah. there was the, uh, yeah, by the, the Trump's um, Hollywood star. Two people just got violently yeah. attacked just for wearing the hat. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, but, but they the didn't destroy ones, they Kevin Stacey's spot. Uh, yeah. No, no, they no, 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 they yeah. polish them out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah. Yeah. ones are fine. Polish yeah, that out. Polish that out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just Trump, just the president. Well, that's the hypocrisy I like to hit on a lot out here. That's why with the hashtag walkaway, a liberal comes up to him and says, look, before we start, can you tell me about your hashtag walkaway, how many Trump people are signing up and going on YouTube saying, I'm giving up on Trump because I ain't seen it. Mm. So, I mean, I've seen as people with their 401ks going, hey, hey, and, you know, their paychecks and getting, you know, and uh, jobs and, you know, I go, hey, this ain't a bad deal. Maybe it ain't so bad after all, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, yeah, I, I made one poor little liberal cry this morning. Oh! <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> I'm a bad man. Congratulations. I'm a bad man. That's impressive. No. <laughs> All I did was it's ask not, him. It's very easy. What did it's you very do? easy. Yeah. Man, it ain't hard to do, believe me. This was not hard to do. The only say. thing I'm a, a little upset is we're farmers, so the tariffs. That's soybean yeah. prices have gone down a lot. Yeah, well. Yeah, tariffs. See? Yeah. See me? Oh, they're only bad things. They're, there's, there's some. Again, I believe me, I'm the last one to talk about economics. If I was, I wouldn't be on the street. But, but I do play one on TV a lot. Um, and I, I, we're going to, no matter what happens, there's going to be some economic pain coming. And it's not going to be cherry everywhere because our system has become so corrupted there. Because that's where it is. You follow the money. And it all goes through the bankers. and it, The whole system needs to be really just taken down. Washed out. Yeah. I mean, 
uh, the Federal Reserve needs to go, we need to go back to sound money, we need to, you know, all of this stuff needs to take place. We need to get as far away from the globalist network that has been set up with transnational corporations and the, you know, the TPP and everything else they like, like trying to strangle us with by taking us further and further away from the decision-making process. And that's what all of this has all been about. So, you know, yeah, there's going to be some things that we need to go through to get back to where we were, but in the end, it's going to turn out to be okay. It's sort of like getting a root canal when you're at the end of it, you'll be all right, you know. So, but yeah, someone's going to have to take a bite on the flip side of it. Yeah, we've got people working with optimism is up. Uh, and people still have to eat. Believe me, the food price is coming back. There's anything you want, you know. I started out eating as a little kid, and I... I can't help it. I'm addicted now. I'm eating every day. I'm just like, you know. There's a there's a three part saying. That the truth goes through three stages. Yeah. First is ridicule, which is conspiracy theorists. Then it's vehemently opposed, which is burned right now. And then it's just accepted as evidently true. Yeah, indeed. And again, the exposure of where the internet was going down, having so many different platforms and voices to listen to is allowing us to capitulate. I mean, nothing is going to go ahead and piss us off more than saying, um, you, can't, you can't think that. This is what you should think. I mean, that's a, you know, you know they, haven't, hmm? they haven't got the self-awareness to know that. Who doesn't? Well, the elites, the people that are deciding oh, indeed. these things. They don't. Because they still, they got the, full of you. You look at the EU referendum, you look at the presidential election, they tell you, you can't think that. You shouldn't do that. But So we said, no, screw it. Against the odds, we will do it. Against it. Like, yeah. It's that. Because they haven't got the self-awareness. They, they, they don't uh, understand. They, yeah. Don't you understand yeah. anything yeah. about yeah. the human yeah. spirit, yeah. you yeah. morons? I mean, you bro. Yeah, they don't believe in freedom. Yeah, I mean, you tell us not to do something. You're going to screw you, especially if we've had a little bit of freedom. I mean, here in the United States, we have a little bit of freedom. We've had that little bit of freedom. It's getting like you start taking away from yourself with, you know, mm. the, you know, so many regulations and whatnot, mm. which he's trying to get rid of. Uh, you know, it's like, I mean, my God, you try to do anything, and everybody in government's got their hand out for that. What do you do back in San Francisco? What do you do there? I do uh, project management for IT installations for farmers. Oh, Jesus, you're right in the middle of this uh, liberal cesspool with that. If you're dealing with IT in that area. But uh, well, LA. You know, it's, it's interesting how they count on the internet. I've been to Florida. You know, Aldous Huxley wrote about the whole yeah. socialist creep with the child that lost. You know, where the, the aliens come down, they sit there for a generation, the next generation, they've always been there. It's just exception. Got out of slow change, slow change. And they had to start speeding it up like that, and I think that just shocked people away. And now they're trying to gain control of it, and they can't do it. It's a yeah. yeah. box. Yeah. Oh, it's out of the box. Yeah. Right? And you know, yeah, well, that's it. Well, I was you know, showing him about this thing that I found on Facebook. It's, it's actually... But it's just so, that you, I, I actually really cool. enjoy seeing it. Well, the, 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 that's, well, the consciousness level is waking up. Oh, people yeah. say, well, how can you be out here? Because so, it's happening. I was asking yeah. the biggest thing. I'm, yeah, I'm getting this. I'm not getting yeah. rocks thrown at me. I'm not getting... How many people... We've been here, what, a half hour, maybe? Yeah. How many people have slung insults at us? Yeah, yeah. How many more people stop by and listen to and they're shaking their heads, going, you know, thumbs up, I think their picture's taken. We know what the hell's going on. What we have to do now is act on this knowledge. Citizen grand juries. We have to take this power right now, this surge. Yeah, here. Yeah. Breathe. Because I don't know who would come in after that. Maybe Rand Paul. I don't know. Yeah, but had, he started to make, make a strong. Yeah, yeah. And he would be good. But he his, is, I mean, yeah. Trump is just a force. He just is. The man is the just ultimate a alpha male. He yeah. goes in and, and just runs the whole. Yeah. Wherever he goes. Never had a drink in his life. You know, but he's just like. Yeah. <laughs> and you go, okay, you know, hey, hey, I'm right, about to follow on this guy's way. You know, no kidding. Well, you know what he's finding? Well, at least what I'm hearing, yeah, interviews on Alex Jones and other shows, is, is just that there are so many people that were going along with the system but didn't want to, didn't like. Now they actually oh, yeah. have a leader that they can now de defect yeah. from that whole movement. Oh, did that be just when he was running? How many, because a whole 50% of the yeah. populace. What's going on in Europe now and how yeah. they're all like one, it's like he said, the example, the yes. guy that ran the four-minute mile, and now it's possible. Now yes. everybody else is 
start to drink, you know? Yes. Uh, <laughs> the floodgates. We want you. Italy, you know. Ah, man, I was so so sad that Geert Wilders didn't get in. And that, you know, all those elections are probably rigged beyond. beyond. They, they, he probably did win. You know, same thing with Le Pen. Probably did win. But, you know, they probably don't have legit elections yeah. over there. But the next time around, I can't see it. I can't see it happening. It's, it's going to be too much of a loss. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like they, they're, they're, hold, they're holding a fire hose into it. Look, this wave. fraction is screwed up as Italy did. What they did, they they put in this Trump-type guy. Yeah. You know, just, I don't know. We're not having any more of this. <laughs> you know, it's happening. It's happening. Man. It's happening. We, like you say, we're living in history. Yep. Never before. You know, it's amazing too. Is it, and, and what I try to hit it, because up there I, I run into it a lot. People ask me. But I don't go into the question. I say, you know what I learned about 2006? And I start talking about the one party system and all that. And I never answer the question, but I educate them, with my, you know, as much as I can. And just say, you know, it's over you 30 years, they, they infiltrated the entire media, all of Hollywood. And, and you're just hearing it from all sides, and it makes you think it's true because you're hearing it from somebody. That's right. I, this, this lady came up. She was, the, the whole conversation started about the infiltration of the media, Project Mockingbird, all of that, right? And then we got into the last, you know, was getting into the DARPA mind control programs. And it goes on and on and on. And, on. and that was a big deal up in the, in the that, of course, Bert, you know, at the San Francisco area where all that started. Yeah, yeah. I spoke to a young lady that just graduated from Berkeley. Oh, yeah? Yeah, who, uh, thanks, because she was part of the Berkeley Republican Students for, for Republican yeah. Caucus, or whatever they have there, right? the Republican Berkeley Caucus, students. And uh, Antifa attacked one of their events. And she went out and got us, made a sign, some uh, free speech, and it made the New York Times. And then her professor, doctor in class, saying, oh, one of our students got, you know, was out this thing. Uh, she's graduating communications, and Fox News is interviewed. Her. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, so, uh, it was great. and her dad, this is great, this is good. He was in charge of the LA sewer systems, building the LA sewer systems. This guy goes around the country and, and yeah. you know, gives people experts. He's an expert on building sewer systems. He quit the LA system because he said the last straws when they wanted me to build camps, sewer systems for camps for the homeless illegals. Is is that it? Uh, is that quick? He says I've had enough of getting out of here. I spoke to them earlier today. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, I, I really appreciate what you're doing out here. Well, thank you. If you'd like to support my efforts, uh, you can go to the back of this Get Out of Jail free card from Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Okay. And uh, I get a lot of my uh, uh, designs on apparel, so you can actually walk around and piss liberals off and, uh, you know, get, get into your own fight. So. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it really is something up there. I, I uh, had a real interesting uh, election season up there. Tell you the oh, yeah. And, you know, I'm a musician up there. It's oh, really yeah. difficult. Oh, imagine. You know, what I've been pushing up there is, you know what? People are looking for arenas to get away from it. Yeah. Don't always make every freaking arena. You know, well, like they did with the NFL and all that. Don't make every arena about, you know. But that's what's killing them. Yes, that's what's killing them. Well, you know, when I'll show you that. When you spec when he was governor. Yeah, what she's showing me here is some pictures of uh, her with Bill Clinton. Uh, she looked to be about maybe about 12 years old and she's standing in front of him and she makes this joke and then she showed me a picture of uh, of uh, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton in, in blackface uh, <laughs> which I don't know if anybody's ever seen before she wouldn't put it up to the camera though that That's me in front of him. <laughs> when you're from Arkansas, you meet him a few times. My joke is his penis is sticking in my back. <laughs> and everybody's like, have you, have you slept with him? I'm like, man. Nah. Uh, he signed I, that paper that said, sorry, I missed you. And I said, I could totally use this against him. Okay, <laughs> have you seen this? Oh, God. <laughs> That's Hillary. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, oh, it yes, is. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Put that up to the camera. Uh, yeah. Put that one up to the camera. Well, now, I don't want my name on there because I'm not, I don't want to end up, I do not want to end up dead before we get back. Do you think she's ever going to go to jail? I hope so. <laughs> I want to get, have you, I was just telling her, there's these three books out and I don't know who they're by. The first one's on Clinton sex scandals. Is that murder? Uh, Clinton Cash is one of yeah, Clinton Cash is one you want to read to. Well, have y'all seen the, uh, Swingers? Or this was by right the sign. It's a, I don't What's know that? what they are, but the I just I was hooked, and I put them in my basket at Amazon. Then I, oh, when really? I got back to check it, well, they were gone. Couples. Yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Wednesday, well, I know Dinesh is but I don't think those are his. I think he, he did Hillary's America in a, in a yeah. show. And he's got a new one coming out uh, uh, soon. I think it's September. What did you say the titles were again? I'm fixing to look at it. I'm fixing to let me get it. Because that actually is really familiar. I've heard interviews with the guy that, that, that did those, those films. Hillary! You can actually, I think... Gilbert does uh, some good ones, sure too. Joe Gilbert. I'm pretty sure you can actually Joe Gilbert. look them up on, uh, well, not the books, but there's documentaries. He's another good documentary. It's, it's a painted on shirt. Really? Yeah. Oh, right. They're throwing beads. Oh, you know God. the swingers are in town. Oh. Uh oh Yeah, they... Hey, oh. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, geez, they're right. They don't send me the postcards anymore, you well, know. I kind of... His sign said, make America orgasm again. You might like that guy. <laughs> So I don't think America has a problem with that. Okay. Not that it's called Rachel Goes. Not that I want to see it. Guys aren't hanging out. You see girls hanging out every day. Hillary and Bill, the sex volume. That's volume one. And then, uh, that kill on the barricades. Wow. I want to see what's on the Wiener laptop about. They said the guy in the Hillary and Bill, the murder volume. That's three. And the drugs is two. Say, uh, are you on the dark web, a video that was taken off the Wiener laptop of Hillary uh, and Yuma having sex with a seven-year-old child. Yeah, they, uh, John Epstein, Epstein's Island, which Bill, Clinton, Hillary, uh, Bill Clinton is known to have gone to 22 times. That is on record. But anyway, we there were a lot of stories when he was governor about oh, state police blocking the place off and car being Let me give you the worst one I heard. This is the worst Bill Clinton story I've heard. It was a nurse. Her husband was a fireman. She works for a doctor whose wife was raped by Bill Clinton while two state troopers held him back from helping her. But it is, uh, she would not allow me to air that video. Oh, she was that scared. Because I look at all these. I believe it. I believe it. So, you know, there are a lot of these horrible. I mean, these two people. They, this is the. They need to go to jail. Well, with all of the. Wow. Just the murders, the, the ones that are called old, murder and litter, the, all the ones that the body houses. Arkansas. Are just, it's very scary <laughs> to be in Arkansas and just think <laughs> of the things that you might I mean, we don't have yeah. known about. And that's why I asked you about the boys, the boys on the track, really? because really? these are just things that they just so interweave. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. All the entrance is just bonkers. But that's what we need to get rid of. That's why if we have citizen grand jury. We can put these people in jail. I mean, we don't see Jeff Sessions doing it. Alligator. Hey, what do you make of what do you make of the sealed indictments? That you keep hearing about the rumor, but you know, yeah, dangled carrot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Carrot on a stick. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah. Count on the government to fix the government. We have to fix it ourselves. We either do citizen grand juries or we go to civil war. Ten dollars. Are you joking? My brother lives there and he goes, go have a free place to say. Got two choices. We're going to need it. Really, really. They, they, it is all thing. Remember when they had, they had um, Where are you going to go? Uh, what's the face from Facebook and they did this whole thing? For what? Right. Like, uh, what comes it is. It's a, yeah. like, it, it, it's 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 scandal porn now. Yeah, that's what it is. I mean, I, I, I'm tired of listening to Hannity every night going, and more of it has just come out about, yeah. I don't want to hear about it anymore, Vakar. Give me an indictment. Yeah, exactly. Do something. 
not, you know, I mean, it's, it's bad news for Hillary. I can yeah. go back a year and a half with the same headlines over and over and over and over and over again, but nothing ever happens. Yeah. Oh, did Steen tell? Yeah. yeah. To turn over everything. Or, we're going to run. Okay, well, good. If he doesn't turn over everything, by on and on and on and on and enough already. Walk in, grab the guy by the collar, and go, You come up with us? Why do you think nobody, I mean, I'm not trying to be real, but you also don't want to be on camera saying this, but why do you think nobody has killed either one of them? It's only us. I mean, we get here. Oh, who? <laughs> oh, because we're, we're too well protected. I mean, when the time comes, it'll be one of their own bodyguards. Fly back to you pay for that. Okay? That's the thing about the, these, that they, all of these people. They don't understand. When the time comes, it's going to be the people that are closest to them are going to turn on them. Yeah. I'm just surprised that nobody has after all. Well, one, it's not the right thing to do. I get that. I get that. I mean, you do that, you become yes. like them. Yeah. So that's the farthest thing in the world. I mean, listen, I think about it all the time. It'd be hard put if I had the opportunity <laughs> and I thought I could get away with it. That, you know, I might go, well, that, maybe God will give me a pass on this one if I, you know, you know. But, of course, you know, the, that opportunity is never going to come. I'm never going to be tested like that. But So the next best thing is, is of course, you know, what, because, look, nothing would be more satisfying to see them roast slowly in a jury, you know, with a jury telling them, you're going to jail. And then we can come by a visiting day and go, yeah, throw feces at them. We want. We'll get some That's what we want. If you, if, if, if anything else should happen to them, the danger of them becoming a martyr. Yes. Not that I don't think she's going to have too many. They would have too many martyrs, you know, but they would become a, a you know, a celeb martyr for the left. It'd be, oh, you see how violent the, the right is? And that, listen, that's one of the things we have to look uh, uh, for against, too, is the, a false flag and then blaming it on us. Yeah. Well, do you think that uh, George Bush and all that? Oh, absolutely. Sure, absolutely. Reagan. Reagan? No, I think Reagan is uh, pretty much just duped. I don't think well, he he's was. The one in that movie that you understand like most of most of the pre, most presidents aren't given all of the information, right. the, the, the information, the secret information that is being held up uh, is being held by the the CIA, the FBI, the, and some secret agencies we probably don't even know their initials on. NASA, I'm sure, has a plenty of you know, so. The presidents aren't even allowed to see certain vaults and evidences. Presidents are not allowed. It's beyond them. Yeah. So, yeah, no. It's not beyond them, but it's being enforced to be beyond them. In real actuality, it's, it's all bullshit. We could go ahead and... You know, this is all a mind game. They make us believe we don't have the power. So we believe that. Oh, they're too powerful. Oh, we can't do anything. Oh, we got to... Oh, jeez. What's on TV? Well, it's really... Right. It's, you know, I mean, I gotta go to work, I gotta raise the kids, I gotta do the laundry. Come on, I can't deal with trying to change the world. Yeah, man, that, come on, can someone else do that for me, please? No, we gotta stand up. We gotta do it. So go form citizen grand juries. Go back to where you, where you live and look into it. Go to Freedom Watch. It's not that hard at all to do this. It just, it takes just getting off your butt and contacting people, putting together a grand jury and presenting, have a prosecutor present the evidence. And then the people go, go arrest them. They don't need your permission to track where you are. And it's only down to the company. I guess you're right, because you don't think you're, I don't think that I'm that powerful. Exactly. We are. That's going to be it. The most powerful person in the United States is a juror. Yeah, they are When you're in the jury box, you're the president. Nobody can stop you from doing what you, what, I can't. 
Right not guilty or guilty. I can be there one second. The law is no good. You can actually say that. As a juror, you could say, that law is no good. That's a bad law, and I'm not convicting on it. And they ain't a damn thing they can do about it. You can change the law. You have the power of Congress in you, and you're more powerful than a president as a juror. So think what a grand juror could do. Well, very nice. Yes. Oh, okay. Right there, yeah. Is there a cemetery like right there? Is this the cemetery? You could throw my hat in a cemetery well, from me up. They need a seat. Well, there's one right on hey, the other side of our hotel. You're talking with it. Oh, man. Did I give you a get out of jail free card? Yeah, I you did. did. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank All you very much. There's one. I mean, it's. That, um, yeah, you can see it. Well, you can see it from here. It's actually right down there. Down there. Okay. But what you want to do is you want to go go do some of the the tours. Get on the tours. Yeah, you don't yeah. want to go walking around these cemeteries on your own. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, they might find you in one of the crypts. You know. So you know. Especially after talking to this. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> I got a pie. Yeah. <laughs> I to that nice check lady. Anyway. <laughs> What's your name? Badass Uncle Sam. Awesome. I'm Sarah. Nice Sorry, it's, a, it's a been a pleasure. Such a pleasure. Badass Uncle Sam. Badass Uncle Sam. Absolute pleasure. Yes, yes, indeed. Go check out by Tommy Robinson and, and make some noise about that. Did I give you a get out of jail free card? We have got cards. I Wonderful. All right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you They're so doing much. Your job. All right. Go watch yourself on YouTube. Keep, keep at it. Yeah. All righty. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I enjoyed it. I was so excited to see you when I drove around. I was like, Laura, look who's out. Look who's out. We got to go. We got to go talk to you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've been out here long enough now. I actually got people that are coming by to, you know, to, say, to see me, which kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> Nobody's ever tried to hurt you or anything, have they? No, no. I mean, I've had some threats out here, and, it's, you know, there's been some confrontations, but nothing really that's, you know, life-threatening or anything like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's not like I'm a small boy. and it's, I haven't been in a few fights before. And, you can handle it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I've been punched in the face. It ain't that bad. I, you know, it, it, you can handle it. It's just that, you know, you make sure that when you do that punch, I don't get up. Otherwise, because if I get up, I mean, you know, you're going to do a lot of that. Well, thank you very much. You're very kind. You're very kind. Well, how long do you stay out here? Well, I probably was. This whole conversation probably petered me out. So, I'm, you know. Sorry. Good luck. Not at all. I'm, I just like to pick your brain. Well, thank you. <laughs> it was very interesting to hear in other countries. Oh, yeah. Well, if you go to my website, it's one of the things I love being out here. Is your website on the car? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you oh, sure, sure. YouTube channel on the back. Uh, I mean, that's it. I mean, I speak to people from around the world out here every day. Well, I asked her if her friend that was a blogger or did stuff. She said he's been shut down on social media, Facebook and everything else yeah. for his beliefs. Yeah. The one that, that's the first time I heard that. Well, that's it. The, uh, the, cam like the cameras had given out batteries and uh, lost all space in the cameras. It was a long day. I had a lot of conversations out there. But thanks for thanks for sticking in the, uh, in with me there, and don't forget to, if you like this, to hit the like button, share this, please. Uh, the only real way I have of of getting support is by you spreading the word. So please do that, and uh, God bless you. And I love you all. Thank you.